coming out of high school and everything, my grades weren't too high. So it was either junior college or division three. And where I'm from and everything, a lot of people, they really, they actually like talk about you and stuff like that. And when you tell them that you're going to division three, it's like, you're not that good and stuff. And I actually felt some type of way about it. And I was second guessing, I was, should I come here or not? But then I was like, it's my choice, like, it's my life. I'm gonna have to live it. And if I'm gonna come to Cabrini, then I'm gonna have to make the best of it. So I came here, I'm doing what I'm gonna have to do now and I'm just gonna get better from here on out in basketball. So I really don't care what anybody think about me being D3, but I'm just gonna keep balling out, that's all. Since 1973, the National Collegiate Athletic Association, or NCAA, has been divided into three divisions for which college athletes could play. Cabrini College is a Division III school, which can cause some difficulties in recruiting players who could play for a higher division. When I go out recruiting, I, I you know, have to identify the best possible talent to uh, help build our program and put it to where we want it to be. Uh, of course, oftentimes that means we're talking to student athletes, prospective student athletes who are also looking at Division I and Division II programs. So uh, sometimes the challenge, uh, but the challenge of my job is to get them up on campus and teach them what Cabrini is all about and explain to them the opportunities that we have to offer, uh, both athletically, academically, um, and, and you know, try and garner some interest in them and our program. And that's how we move in the right direction by aspiring to get more of those Division One and Division Two level players. We've done a pretty good job of it so far. I think, you know, one of the things that I sell as a coach, that, as a person that coaches multiple sports, is I'm going after kids that possibly play multiple sports. So my pitch to them is that they can do that here. According to NCAA standards, Division Three athletics encourages participation by maximizing the number and variety of athletic opportunities available to students. Another aspect that helps with Cabrini's recruitment of athletes is the success of their many teams in the conference championships. This past year, we, our fall teams did very well. Both women's soccer, men's soccer, field hockey, and volleyball all won the conference, all went to the first round of the tournament. Um, they have tons of recruits coming on campus now. Um, the enrollment numbers have, have risen, obviously, for these teams. Um, historically, our men's basketball program, men's lacrosse program have been very successful, and that always helps in, in aiding to get more and more uh, prospective students to campus and, and to join our teams in the future. When there's a lot of hype, you know, any sports teams pick up a, a larger amount of followers, and the same is true whether it's D1, D2, or D3 athletics. So when a sports team is doing exceptionally well, we do see um, a boost, not, not only in the students wanting to come to play that sport, but as a whole in general with the enrollment area. That's across the board, Division One, Two, and Three. It definitely helps. Kids want to, they, they get attracted to winning. Um, you know, they enjoy seeing that you made the playoffs. So it definitely is an asset when it comes to recruiting. One of the downsides for student athletes who choose Division Three is that it is the only division which is not allowed to provide additional financial aid to their athletes. We do get some parents who really are um, don't quite understand why we can offer funds or they think, um, well, I know that you can't say that you don't offer funds, but I know that you do because other places do that. Other D3 schools do that. And we're always very adamant that we do not take athletics into account in any way with the financial aid process. Our, our, our financial aid staff has no idea which students are athletes and, and who are not. So. The biggest difference probably is that, you know, a lot of times Division One kids are on some sort of um, ac athletic scholarship. But the other side of that is in Division Three is we package great uh, academic packages. So, you know, some kids really get attracted to some of the things that we offer at Cabrini when it comes to their financial aid, if they're a student that fits that profile of having amazing grades, being involved, and you know, it, it can be a good deal for them to come here. At Cabrini and other Division Three schools, a large emphasis is placed on student athletes also focusing on their education as a priority. This includes each sports team having required study sessions in the library and having coaches check in on the academic progress of the players. I think in D3, and especially in the case of Cabrini, it's they are students first and they are athletes second. So philosophically and with the student, I think that's the difference. It's a whole mindset of where their athletic um, you know, achievements and goals come in in line with the rest of their overall student experience. The big thing with the athletes is, is time management with balancing practices, games, um, as well as completing all of the assignments and 
other activities they may be um, involved with on campus. The time that you put on for basketball and the time you put for class is almost the same or equivalent, but school is always first because I'm a student athlete first. So excelling in both is always, is always more important than anything else.